So people may know the name Symantec, it's on your desktop usually, but the company does a whole lot more than just make those little boxes that you install onto your PC. And I'm here with Grant Geyer, and we're here in Alexandria, Virginia at the Security Operations Center, or the SOC. So Grant, can you tell me what's going on here? Oh, sure. Hi. Sir, Sean, so this is one of four security operations centers that Symantec has around the world. Um, this one in Alexandria, Virginia, is just one of four centers that, per that perform the same function of helping to secure and manage customers' information. Now, we have another in Reading, UK, a third in Sydney, Australia, and a fourth in Chennai, India. We have analysts working 24 by 7 by 365, round the clock, looking into incidents occurring within customers' network and then stopping them in real time so the customer's information and their user's information can be secure. So I've got the uh, copy of Norton Antivirus and the Internet uh, Security Suite on my desktop. What's going on here that's not going on on my desktop? The amount of malware that has plagued the Internet is just staggering. It's, a, it's over... Uh, if you added up the previous 20 or 30 years amount of malware that's hit the streets, that is only 60% of the malware that's occurred in 2008 alone. Okay, so malware being basically Trojan horses, people sniffing for your data, just bad things going on behind the scenes that it, you wouldn't know about. It is, it is code that's been written by hackers with no good intent. It's written to steal confidential information, like your credit card information, your bank account information, from your computer and send it out to places to uh, send, it, send it out to be sold on the underground economy. Mm -hmm. From this operation center, we're looking into the security of over 800 of the world's largest companies looking for signs of break-in. Now, these companies are protecting your credit card information when you do business online. Very important. They're protecting your bank accounts. They're protecting sometimes your personally identifiable information. Mm -hmm. And so we're providing the armed guards, if you will, remotely from this operation center to ensure that if there's a hacker attempting to penetrate, we can see it at the early stages and stop them before they even get to the desktop, before they even get to the server. So people at, uh, at their desktop at, at work don't even need to know that there's something going on because someone back over here is currently looking at the data and saying, ah, there's something going on here. That's exactly it. I mean, look, if you think about a bank, you're certainly going to have locks on the front doors, you're going to have the windows barred, you'll have a safe. But given enough time, somebody's going to break into the bank and be at the safe with a blowtorch if you don't have an armed guard at the doors and you're not watching with the camera 24-7. This is an area where the remote, where the security experts are watching the, the windows, the doors, the safe, 24 by 7 by 365. So if we even see the bad guys start to come to the window, we're notifying uh, the security team from your bank so they can stop them at the early stages. All right, so we actually talked briefly beforehand to uh, one of your uh, guys here named Tracy, right. who's looking at it. So that would be his job, just sitting there monitoring things that are coming in? That's right. So That's what right. would a day in his life be like? So Tracy, day in, day out, is basically doing detective work. Mm -hmm. He is looking through a queue of incidents coming in. Now sometimes it, something may not seem to be that malicious and and really could be terribly bad. For example, an incident we looked at earlier was uh, a customer's mail server, which, you know, emails are being sent in and out of every day, all of a sudden spiked on a particular day to 50,000 emails down from low hundreds of previous That can't days. be good. It can't be good. And basically what it was is a spammer had taken over that corporation's mail server to use it to send out spam that you would receive in your inbox. Unbeknownst to them, Symantec, unbeknownst to what was happening, Symantec saw it, notified them. They stopped it really quickly before any damage was done. Tracy is spending 24 hours a day, well, him and his colleagues. Tracy and the other we, people we, here. We do give him a break. Um, he's spending, you know, he and his colleagues are working 24 by, 24 by 7 by 365, looking and investigating each incident, doing the difficult detective work so that you can sit in your office and not and be, and be protected and not even be aware that it's going on. Mm -hmm. I noticed that obviously there's a whole pile of screens of listing things that are going on real time in the network, things right. that are sort of statistical, informational, but I also notice you have CNN up in the background as well. Now what's that about? Is this just something when the times are a little bit uh, quiet so you can watch a little bit of uh, news? <laughs> no, I, so, so it's um, a good question. We actually want to make sure that um, the teams are aware of events occurring in the physical world and seeing if there's any correlation to what's going on in the online world. Now, an example of this is when the, we had the blackout, I believe it was in 2002 in New York. Um, we all of a sudden saw 
a bunch of our customers' networks go dark, that the security technology stops sending information. Now, normally, we try to do CPR and revive them, mm -hmm. but being aware of the, what's going on in the physical world by having the TV screens up allowed us to very quickly see that there's a blackout. Mm -hmm. It helped us correlate the physical, the physical world to the logical world. Now, it doesn't happen every day, but um, having that awareness really helps ensure that we can protect our customers more effectively. Yeah, so like for example, in the last week, we saw a little bit of uh, unrest in Iran, for example, and uh, if we got a whole pile of internet traffic coming out of there, it may be proxied uh, Twitter or something like that rather than something necessarily bad, but you can be on top of that. Right, we can, be, we can, we can know what's going on, all, we can make sure we can correlate the, the, the latest news to what's going on in the virtual world. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Grant. There you go. You might have the box uh, Norton on your desktop, but all of the stuff that's going on behind the scenes, it's all happening right here.